nature. The closer you are in the wild, the more you find yourself. Here's a winter story for those who got stuck in the blender of dub, lack of motivation, and general public's influence. I'm Spiros Badios, a dedicated action sports athlete. And just to give it to you straight, I love being on the mountain. in the mountains is fucking awesome. I didn't grow up near a snow-covered mountain like most snow addicts do, and as a kid, neither had I the chance to ride a snowboard but once. Carpenisi 1999, another family trip that would mark my future for good. A rental board, no gloves, no goggles, no teacher, no toss side turns, and lots of hiking. It was just three hours, and it felt like a dream. I still get the same rush and enjoy what I do, no matter the game I choose. I grew up in the Greek island of Corfu. An island of lunatics, according to urban legends. But that's another story. Since the age of six, I was on a skateboard, on the right track of building a creative DIY spirit. To get to the point, there's always a step to get you closer, to help your dreams survive until you're ready. And creativity is like the best army boot ever made. Talking about childhood dreams, every December there's a big package knocking on my door. It's brand new gear from my sponsors, so I can start fresh with new adventures and do what I love, snowboarding. Due to some work plans, I had the chance for another short visit at Carpenisi. It's almost 20 years later and I totally felt the vibe. It was early season with not much of snow, but enough for my second ride on that mountain. I didn't have more time than my first day there, but now that I've dug something on it, I'm complete. Snowstorms were just around the corner. Everyone anticipated some deep powder action on the big mountains, but no one saw it coming. It was snowing on the islands. There's some light snowfall once a year in Corfu, but most of the time you weren't able to ride or my timing was out. It was right in my backyard, my very first memories of playing with snow. And finally, I put a mark in history with some friends with the first descent of our little mountain. Oh, yeah. The just above 900 meter peak of Padokratolas. Sounds like a really good plan. I was trying to figure it out. It was just a week earlier, the idea was crazy, and I tried to prepare my team. Let's 
σε μια όμορφη κερά. Preparations always have the battle. I guess I was preparing myself since the very first visit here with my dad. Εδώ έπαιζα μικρό και έφτιαξα είχα... τέτοια του βλάκια. Δεν έχει ξαναγίνει τόσο χιόνι εδώ πέρα. Αυτή είναι η φόρα μας. Πατέτα. Θα σπίσω, τεντώνεις. Τεντώνεις κι άλλο. Τεντώνεις, προσέξεις τα μάτια σου. Ά! Πάρ' το. It was about time to hit the road and fight my Vasilitsa buddies. But first, I needed a serious warm up. In about an hour, I've made that old famous road gap, so we could just enjoy it on another day. We knocked ourselves out at night and I went back to my car slash kitchen slash bed. It's time for mushrooms and noodles. It's time to blizzard my belly. This week stay warm. Prepare to meet your destiny. After a spicy meal, it was time for more entertainment. You're gonna sleep. You're gonna ride tomorrow when it's a powder day. <laughs> I'm so used to living in the car that sometimes I don't even put the seat down to lay flat. I just wake up, put my boots on and go ride.
After a full day of pure fun, I had to make myself a house. So I'm searching the perfect place in the woods. It's about time. Three hours later, and my house for this week is almost done. I took a nap for about 20 minutes with my boots on. <laughs> got so fucking cold and I gotta get up and get warm. And uh, I can't even imagine a better way than shoveling. Those who believe that this is way too extreme to handle, I think in fact that their fantasy just stopped a long time ago. They're just barricaded with comfort. Okay, right now we're about to make some modifications in the room. We've got a brand new kitchen. And we need some some extra space to put my things all around. The more you work on your home, the cosier it gets. And besides that, you become better and better by the hour. You learn how to be more patient, plan every move precisely, become more efficient, and you could never feel more proud of yourself with such an achievement of living on your own. The whole process of digging, wood gathering and building a house clears your mind tremendously. It gets you focused and of course, it's a hell of a workout. Sometimes, curious neighbors like to sniff around. Go away! Hey! Hey! my 
fire. And I feel safer now. The easy thing with an igloo is that your guest can have his own room. At least I try. <laughs> Andreas is a crazy fella enjoying being with on and off the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the reason why. I told him how cozy my igloo was and he just brought his summer gear to spend the night. <laughs> Τελικά χωρίς ρούχα είναι πιο άνετο να κάθεις στη φωτιά Έτσι μου φαίνεται τα πόδια είναι πολύ ζεστά. Α, ωραία, καλό αυτό. Καλό. Είμαι στην πόρτα μου, δεν ξέρω. Θα φέρω εγώ τώρα το τέτοιο για να το πείσω. Παλιά πετσέτα, κάτι τέτοιο και να τη λίγουμε μέσα από τις πέτρες Αυτές από τη φωτιά Τις παίρνεις αγκαλιά και τις δίνεις στα πόδια σου και σε κρατάνε We survived. We have been here. It's just a good day to show me the music. I'm going to have our democracy. Yeah. If you like, you can do it. 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 My adventurous buddy Samis and Bill were having the best time exploring the mountain of Deerfield with some red lines in the sunset and they also made Parnetha a small snow park. I had to go.
Parnitha was full and epically awesome as always. But my point of view is a bit sad. I think that locals now don't see further than their short effortless tip session. We just had two days there, did so many things, and the weather the first time, it wasn't by our side. After all that sunny mayhem, I asked myself what would be the rightest thing to build in Parnitha in just 60 minutes. In my head, somehow obvious. A road gap. <laughs> <laughs> it could be great with some more light and digging, just to make it feel a little less deadly. Let's say the number of rocks and trees on the landing was more than usual. For our next adventure we packed everything on the thing about Greece heroic jeep and just crashed into the mountain of Zirja, literally. <laughs>
Looking good, looking good. That's the trick. Today I got really tired with the fire. It was fucking windy and... Uh, it's disgusting. I just want to sleep right now. Finally, it's time to take my fucking nap. Wow. <laughs> Slushy days are every park rat's favorites. You get loose and wild, jumping, sliding, jibbing, anything. And damn right you get a sick ass tan stupid bimbos would pay for. Slushy days sometimes mean heavier feet, and what a better relief than going to the beach. That day's a predictable adventure for a cinematographer, an embarrassing one. I just got so amazed filming that sunset, I completely forgot where I was heading. Well, it looks like I've been fucked. My drone is a kilometer away, <laughs> and there's nothing. <laughs> Just hang in there, buddy. I'll be there when the sun is up. Every mistake and new lesson to learn. And this was on how to retrieve my summer savings. Tried to sleep, but I couldn't deal with it, so it was time for more plans than a movie. Do not deny your nature, Michael. Why the hell did you join us if you're not gonna feed? I felt like stretching my legs. The rescue mission is on. Ran for three days straight without a drop of sweat ever touching my body. I do curls with Hondas, bench press Buicks and Cadillacs. Got a life size tattoo of Mount Rushmore. Smack dab on my the perfect way to start your day. Let me ask you something. Who invented the assembly line? Who started the industrial revolution? 
Feeling exhausted. As the weather gets warmer, the looser the body gets. It's something like dimming off the survival mode slowly. And when your soulmate is somewhere else jumping out of planes and stuff, that dimmer gets fuzzy with thoughts. It was about time for me to leave. I prepared my home, did a final check on the roof, and took a moment to think, when am I going to feel so alive and connected with nature again? You can always find a way to stretch the season, and it goes accordingly. You either hike and hike some more exploring sick lines on your favorite mountain and building private jumps along order with your best buddies while combining different sports and activities or you can make that glacier trip if you can afford it. Personally, I came up with the idea of building an alternative in my backyard. My own dry slope and snowboard training center in Corfu. Here I can practice almost anything, and also, I can share the knowledge. Here's Fabio. I taught this guy how to ride before he even touched snow, and in just a couple of months, he got ready for serious battles. Every once in a while I'm organizing those open to ride days, and we all have a blast playing in my little mountain. I'm Spiros Barrios, and I've made this movie exactly as I would like to receive it 20 years ago. Embrace everything. Every day is going to suck, one way or another. Try to make the best out of every situation and get closer to the dream. Do not listen to anyone but yourself. Look around and question everything. Look what they do and do the opposite. Find your manic side, be true, live and enjoy yourself to death. They told me, go big or go home, I can do both, cause I'm homegrown, I told them that I ain't crazy, 
just wait and see Why ain't gonna break me This is the passion Bread and molten fire and whiskey Light up a shot, shots Another three and it hits me Light up a shot, shots Another three and you get me I'm going to the top Who the hell is coming with me? Takes me a level higher Try to prove me wrong But you can't kill desire I know I have an attitude problem Forget that Going to hell in a handbasket And I ain't never looking back He'll be like fire, fire He'll be like fire, fire Made in a furnace It was a seed and pain that crafted me I'm the one that earned this There was no one backing me That's my story I banished all my wounds Then I let them scar over And went back into that saloon This is a passion Bread of molten fire and whiskey Light up a shot, shot Another three and it hits me Light up a shot, shot Another three and you get me I'm going to the top Who the hell is coming with me? Takes me a little higher Try to prove me wrong But you can't kill desire I know I have an attitude problem Forget that Going to hell in a handbasket And I ain't never looking back He'll be like fire, fire He'll be like fire, fire I'm a rocker, a boxer Vodka with a splash of vodka Good looks, a song and a hood But underneath I am a monster Some people call me mean I just call it being driven I'm a train off the tracks The way I make my living This is the passion Bread and milk and fire and whiskey Light up a shot, shot Another three and it hits me Light up a shot, shot Another three and you get me I'm going to the top Now who the hell is coming with me? Try to prove me wrong, but you can't kill desire